Good morning. Welcome to today's video. It is a Monday today, and that means, well, that usually means we're not riding, but we are riding today since we have the week off because of the holiday. And we've been on Zwift pretty much those two weekends, and so today we're actually going to attempt to ride outside. I was trying to find better lighting uh, to shoot this video, but at the moment, there is no light outside because it's pretty cloud covered. Uh, there is a chance that they're forecasting some snow later on, which hopefully it doesn't stick around for too long. Um, it is supposed to clear up uh, as the day wears on. I decided something kind of last minute this week, and that is to do the Festive 500. It was a last minute decision that I made. Uh, because we got an email from the director of the Vermont Fondo, which they postponed uh, this year's Fondo to the following year in 2021, and got an email from them saying that they might also, they might postpone it a little later. Instead of June, it will be July, and so they wanted, or August, and so um, they sent us that email, and that kind of got me to thinking, well, there's no sense in training, start my, starting my training for that if it's not going to be until late July or early August. So um, we tried something a little different, and that is to do the Festive 500 Challenge. If you guys don't know what Festive 500 is, it is to ride 500 kilometers from Christmas Eve to New Year's Eve. So I am currently at 50% of completing, halfway through completing the, the challenge. I'm at around 247Ks and I've pretty much been doing these rides indoors because it's been so freaking cold outside and I did not want to deal with the uh, cold temperatures uh, doing this challenge. And so most of my rides or all of my rides recently from Christmas Eve They've all just been indoor rides on Zwift. And today we are attempting our first outdoor ride in two weeks. Uh, and it's going to be a longer one. normally ride on weekdays. Um, I know last time that we rode on a weekday the roads were pretty busy and so we try to avoid riding during the weekday. Um, and I know today is Monday so we figured since we haven't ridden outside we got the itch to ride and uh, the roads are pretty busy, kind of scary. Um, everybody wants to, to pass us which we typically do not mind obviously cars passing by us but the shoulder is just filled with sheets of ice that haven't melted yet from the snow that we got last week and so we got like i don't know almost like two feet of snow dumped into us dumped in, in danbury and so we have all that residual snow that's melting um and it hasn't quite melted fully yet and so every time overnight temperatures are around like the 20s and so because of that it freezes over and so it was a little scary to ride to not be able to ride on the shoulder uh and having all these cars trying to fight to to get past us but uh we survived it thankfully yeah we're gonna have to be careful on this ride because like joy said there there are, is some ice on the on the sides of the road so we're just going to have to be careful going around those and uh so it'll probably be kind of a slow slow moving day but we were gonna take it easy today anyway because you know, we're both a little fatigued from this um festive 500 challenge and um yeah not sure how fun today's ride is going to be because it is cold and like we said we have to kind of watch ourselves for safety reasons
Abort mission. All right, guys, got my first flat ever on in the winter. So. Yeah, we uh, suspect it might have been some broken glass that we rode over. Yeah. Which was really hard to see because it almost looked like ice. So luckily my hands are not that cold at the moment. So hopefully we can uh, get this fixed up. Well, the sun's finally come through, but I think we're gonna cut the ride short here. Uh, we're supposed to do a 60 mile ride today, but it's going to have to be 40, which is a bummer because I feel like we put in more time out here than we would be obviously indoors. But I guess the good thing is that we did get a chance to ride out here, so can't complain. But the reason is that we don't have any more CO2 canisters. We have a little bit left on the second one in Jason's top two, but that's it. And I would just prefer to have a CO2 canister than a bike pump. The bike pump comes in handy once in a while, but to get that tire seated properly, you really need the uh, CO2 canister. <laughs> It's icy patches all over and you can see the roads look kind of slick but I don't know supposedly it's upper 30s eight days straight and doing this 500k challenge um, I was thinking maybe that my legs were going to be totally trashed but I guess if you just do low zone two almost like zone one zone two um, it's actually pretty manageable like I could potentially go a little harder today but um, I do want to save my legs because we have like four days left of this challenge to do. And we're considering actually riding two more, uh, 20 more miles at home. We were supposed to do 60 miles today, um, but cut it short. But the sun is peeking in and out and it's actually helping to warm us up a little bit and uh, sort of in good spirits. So anyway, going back to how I feel right now with my legs and um, it's kind of comes and goes. So some days I would wake up and I feel like my, my, I can't handle it. And there are days when I'm just like feeling pretty good and I can crank out that 40 mile per day, uh, goal that I have mentally. I still feel pretty good. Usually, uh, you know, with overtraining, you know, you get that mental fatigue and it takes a, you know, taxes your nervous system, but I'm actually, um, feeling 
uh, pretty good, despite the fact that we had the flat, uh, or I had the flat, and uh, yeah, that was a pain in the butt because it was cold. <laughs> Uh, and the sun was starting to come through at that time, but it went away again. Yeah, definitely not feeling this ride too much today. It's just it's too cold. And um, yeah, we, we're cutting the ride short mainly because uh, we, we don't want it to get another flat and we don't have any more CO2 uh, to repair a flat. Uh, but also it's it's kind of uncomfortably cold out here and so we we're cutting the ride short heading back home it'll probably be about 40 miles this ride That is it for the ride for today. Having that flat uh, mid-ride kind of put a damper on things and so whatever. I mean we have good rides and we have bad rides and I think it's important to do something new and um, it kind of reminds you that there are finer things. Like today um, we miss riding outside and so we decided to do it even though there was a chance of rain and snow and all that. Uh, but that kind of reminded us that it is very convenient to ride indoors on Zwift. And so that's what I'll be doing for the next couple of days to finish up the challenge. And I am now, after I uploaded it on Strava, um, I am now 60% into the, the challenge. So I'm almost there. Definitely hope that we could have done a little bit more mileage today because we spent all that time outside. We actually spent five hours out there and that was because of the flat, but I just didn't want to chance it because I, um, we didn't have any more CO2 can canisters left in case we, either one of us, uh, did get a flat. And uh, yeah, I know some of you are probably wondering, why don't you just go tubeless? Um, not sure yet. I have not gotten to that point yet of whether or not I want to experiment on tubeless, even though I've heard some good results of tubeless. Um, but yeah, not ready for that yet. Um, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, and happy new year. Um, I will actually, if you are watching this, this is going to be late posting. Um, I may, might have already posted our 2020 year of riding. Hope you guys enjoy that. And I'll talk a little bit more about next time about my new year's resolution. Until next time, guys, don't forget to enjoy the ride.